So, this afternoon we are in Croydon in South London and I thought I would try out this place Mr Chippy uh, very good reviews about it so let's go in and see what they're like come on so I've just got my fish and chips and mushy peas as you can see so let's dig in and see what they're like don't want to lose any put them on there so let's check out one of these chips Mm. Very nice them, nice and fresh as you can see, it was all cooked to order as well, I had to wait for a while um, whilst uh, the chap behind the counter was cooking them, mm. very nice they are too, get plenty of them as well, not sure if I can find out how much they cost me one-handed bit of a skill this they cost me 14 pounds so we're in London probably not bad for London prices that um, for a large haddock and chips and mushy peas but yeah 14 pounds they cost so let's try some of this fish if I can there we go, it's got skin on it, skin on, not really used to that, that might be um, a southern England thing, I'm not sure, but, hmm, very nice that, here's the batter, nice and crispy, might be a little bit greasy, but uh, certainly tasteful, and nice and hot as well right it's that hot I'm strugg struggling to pick it up but nice piece of fish there nice and flaky yeah very nice indeed that that's for plenty of salt and vinegar which is put on so yeah very nice not stuck out the mushy peas bear with me to move over here slightly now when the man passed me these mushy peas he looked a little bit more like some kind of soup from mushy peas try and focus on them there you go Let's see what they taste like To be fair, they don't really taste that much. Uh, they could do with some more seasoning, I think. Yeah. Okay, they're not they're not completely tasteless, but um, I think they could be better, really. And they are a bit watery for me, but um, some people will probably like them like that. But I like them a bit more, uh, a bit more solid. So there you go. But all in all, apart from the mushy peas, the chips are very nice and the fish is very good as well. Quite a big piece of fish as well. Quite a thick piece of fish there. But so, uh, anyway, I'll eat this and I'll, uh, I'll come back to you after I've eaten them to give you a full review. Bye for now. Just to come back to you for a second, just to show you the fish. Um, I couldn't really pick it up before because it was very hot but uh, like I say it's skin on I probably could have asked for it to come without the skin but I just didn't think about it to be fair but uh, yeah it's quite greasy as well as you can see from the box but uh, mm. certainly eatable catch you in a bit so to come back to you, <clears throat> as you can see, um, I'm not keen on the um, on the skin on the fish. Um, I don't know whether that's a, a London thing or or what. Um, I'm not particularly keen on it. 
I mean, you tell me, is it a London thing or is it a, is it all over the UK? I'm not sure, but uh, it's not for me anyway. Uh, as you can see, the fish was fairly greasy as well. But again, some people like it like that. Um, the mushy peas were uh, the consistency was a bit like uh, a soup rather than mushy peas. But it's all about tastes and opinions. Uh, the chips were good. Uh, you got a big portion. Uh, 14 quid in uh, in South London. Is that expensive? Again, please you tell me. Um, I know prices vary up and down the UK, and, uh, and we are in we are in the capital city after all. Although it's probably not a it's not a tourist hot spot. But uh, yeah, the chips were good. So anyway, I'm not going to eat anymore. Um, marks out of ten. Again, it's all about opinions, isn't it, and preferences. Um, I think I'm going to... The guy was nice in the shop. Um, it looked like a family-run business. Uh, man was very pleasant. Uh, I'm probably going to give that uh, probably about a 6 out of 10. Um, you let me know what you thought about it. Uh, it'd be interesting to know your thoughts. So, uh, anyway, just to pan round a bit for you. I'm uh, currently sat outside a, what looks like an apartment building uh, in the middle of Croydon. As you can see, there's uh, an apartment block going up there. So, anyway, I'll stop waffling for now again. Um, please join me again on my next adventure around the UK, um, wherever that may be. Thanks very much, and thanks for watching. Bye.